Sensational Saka. Arsenal 5, West Ham 2, West Ham 2, Arsenal 5. Now, where do I start? There's a lot to unpack, people. First things first, I'm happy we got three points. That's three wins in all comps on the spin. That's two wins in the Premier League on, on, on the spin now. And we're doing what we can to arrest the form. Now, going into this game against West Ham, obviously, people, it's a game we're expected to win. West Ham have kind of turned their form around. We didn't expect it to be plain sailing in the London derby. And I'm happy. I'll start with the improvements for me personally evidently it would have been nice to get a clean sheet i think you know take nothing away from emerson's free kick absolute weldy one of the goals of the season contenders in the premier league and i don't think west ham will score a better goal this season and i'm sure their fans would agree i don't think that was a free kick the ref was right there but that's not emerson's fault the goal from um what's his name wamba saka you know the assist from carlos Soler, great from a west ham perspective could have did better from an Arsenal perspective. And I would also say, I don't I don't agree or think we took our foot off the gas at 4-0, but I, I, I think we showed we're still a bit of a temperamental side because we're at 4-0, if you disregard the scoreline for a sec, it's like it became a bit even. There was a bit of handbags, it was a bit temperamental, it was a bit emotional. So those were the things that we could have done better. And I did want seven. The second half was kind of boring. But in terms of the positives, the main thing is three points, which we did. We scored a bunch of goals the last three games we've been you know lovely in terms of goals and the goals were shared out but Kyle Saka I've got no superlatives to say about him the man's sensational he passes the stats he passes the eyes he does it week in week out he does it season in season out he's 23 as Wenger said this is when your season when you sorry when you really become a footballer stop debating with people that don't want to rate Bakayo Saka because at this point they're being disingenuous the man's a star boy scored a goal you know gave the assist to Odegaard we make sure everyone eats shout out to Capitano on that one as well got two assists doing his thing shout out to Trossard not only for his goal but that pass was absolutely orgasmic for Kai Havertz shout out to Kai because we don't create enough for you as well people so I'm happy we got five goals the goals got shared out big up Gabriel for scoring another game from a set piece and doing that whole Hope he's all right and I hope his head's all right after taking that punch from Fabianski. Um, so we did our job in that regards. The positives, we got five goals. The goals were shared around. I do think we managed the game well. Obviously, with the Mikel Moreno and part A injury and, you know, what could be potentially the aftermath with Saka and Gabriel, we hope everyone's all right. But the main thing was three points, rocking up, getting three points, going on a run. The games are coming thick and fast, not just in the Premier League, but in all comps. And we're going to need the whole squad now, people. So we did what we needed to do. I'm a happy man. We got the three points. Like I said, there was many things we could have done better. There was also positives, man. I think Kivio was a bit so-so, but I think it was a bit more positive from him. I think Zinchenko did well. It's always nice to see Ethan. I mean, Sterling and Jesus weren't terrible, but they show why they're probably allergic to goals at this moment in time. So, I'm a happy bunny. I think Jorginho did well. I think they did try to press Jorginho when they kind of half went into the game as well. Um, and yeah, man, from a West Ham perspective, boy, I don't know what needs to be done. Defenders, defensively shambolic. Kilman horrible. Tadebo horrible. And it's not even just the defenders. It's the whole outlook from when they lose a ball. We did our job. Would have been lovely to get a clean sheet. But yeah, man, it's enough one of those weird games. It, you know, and I, I must admit, uh, the penalty came at the right time. It felt like a bit like the Sporting Lisbon game in a sense of we dominated. It's a bit different. But if you remember the Sporting game, second half, they came out the blocks firing. They got that goal. You know, the, the 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 goal that Odegaard, well, the penalty Odegaard got in that game, it kind of took the sting out of them. So it was lovely to get five goals. But yeah, man, I think we did our job. I'm a happy bunny. I've, I've said where we could have improved. I'm happy, man. The goals were shared out, played good football, managed the game well in a positive way. It was a boring second half. I'm sure Mikel, you know, scored from a set piece as well. I'm sure Mikel Arteta will tell these boys, you know, the two goals we conceded could have been better. But I would say the main thing for me is when we went four goals up and we indirectly allowed not we didn't allow West Ham back into the game but again if you disregarded the scoreline at that little like that little five minute interval or, or so interval we kind of did so we've shown we're, we're still probably a bit of a temperamental side but for me we did what needed to be done man we need to utilize the whole squad the goals are being shared out we enjoy today we we, we take the good and make it great which is is obviously I'm, I'm lovely i'm loving that we're playing good football and creating chances so we take that we take the evident areas for improvement and we now move to manchester united midweek and obviously fulham at next weekend we've got a lot of games to come i think off the top of my head we've got manchester united fulham 
Monaco to come, double header in, in, in the League Cup and in the um in the league against Crystal Palace. So there's a lot of games to come. Even the start of 2025, people, you've got in no order. I think you've got Brentford away, Brighton away, North London Derby, Aston Villa. So we're gonna need everybody, man. And I would say another negative, but it's not really isolated to the game, is obviously it probably surprised everyone, including myself, that Jorginho started because we hear Part A's got a muscle injury, we hear uh, Mikel Moreno's got a knee injury, so hopefully it's nothing too serious. Now, we have had a bit of an injury crisis this season and part has been irrelevant from that and we probably knew that was too good to last. So at this moment in time, there's a, we don't know the status of Mikel Moreno, Thomas Partey, obviously Benjamin White's still injured and Tommy Asu is a no-show. So yeah, it is what it is. The main thing is just winning the games, getting a run of form and keeping it moving in that regard. So I'm a happy guy. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Who would you have as the man of the match and all of that jazz people? What did you think of the game? But me, I'm not going to do too much. I've offered my thoughts, but I want to know yours. Appreciative for you lot listening. Peace. <laughs>